driving beginning today. It's part of the nationwide drive sober or get pulled over campaign that's aimed at making our roadways safer as summer comes to an end and Labor Day approaches. Cam UA's Emily Hauger is live with more on the campaign. Emily? iPhone 5 ice cream, a bestseller in China, and jobs on the road ahead for the construction industry. Here's Bloomberg's Jane King. Good morning. We're this is KOMU 8 News Today. Happening now, a new police recruit in Afghanistan opened fire on his American allies today, killing two people just minutes after they gave him the new weapon as a present. Good morning. Today is Friday, August 17th, 2012. Thanks for waking up with KOMU 8 News Today. I'm Megan Murphy. And I'm Emily Spain. And I'm Rosie Newberry in for Eric Aldridge. She's full of good news. I was about to say. Trash pickup, it affects just about everybody. But how your trash is picked up may change next year in Columbia. KOMU 8's Common Inchev is in the studio with the details. Well, this summer's drought continues to cause problems across the nation. At least 70 wildfires across 13 states from California to Mississippi are fighting wildfires as a result of the heat and dry conditions. The wildfire season has been so brutal, the U.S. military is even pitching in to help battle the spreading flames. Frontier Airlines is offering two nonstop flights per week on its website from Columbia to Orlando. This is Columbia's third nonstop destination. Delta also flies to Memphis and Atlanta. Call it a last-ditch attempt. The son of a Columbia grocer has called on President Obama to commute his father's sentence. Federal judge sentenced Shakir Hamoudi to three years in federal prison for sending money back to his family in Iraq. He goes to prison August 28th. Family and friends started a petition drive that has more than 3,500 signatures. Hamoudi is the owner of World Harvest Food Market in Colombia and a former MU nuclear scientist. His son says his actions were humanitarian and don't warrant federal prison time. I will definitely miss my dad and I, I hope to be able to see him and the rest of my family to be able to see him very soon. Hamoudi's son says they plan to submit the petition around the same time he goes to prison.